uh, Chamber of Commerce. Um, we're here today for the ribbon cutting ceremony of the Econa Lodge. Uh, traditionally, the ribbon cut cutting ceremony is a uh, ceremony of a union, and the only difference here is that this is a, a fresh start. And um, we want to congratulate Mar Marvin and Jose for their fresh start today. Yes, it is a fresh start. Uh, I do want to thank you very, um, very openly that uh, you guys invested in our community. This is a substantial investment and it's going to be a cornerstone for our economic growth here. This is really going to be an anchor tenant. It's really going to help um, project Umatilla forward for the future. And we appreciate you guys. Instead of in the face of adversity, they had a fire um, 18 months ago, two years ago, right? Um, instead of just making it a, a wash and just tearing it down and uh, leaving a, another vacant building, they decided to invest um, a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort back into the Umatilla and back into our community. And uh, so with that, I really, I want to personally say thank you very much from the citizens of Umatilla and from myself. Thank you very much. Over the last 18 months, we've seen a lot of growth in Umatilla. We've seen a lot of changes, um, and there's a lot of new faces coming on board. There's a lot of uh, really good stuff coming up. We have a lot of momentum going forward. And speaking of new faces, we have uh, Mr. David Stockdale. He's gonna come up and say a few words here in just a minute. Um, and we have Ms. Tamara Mavis also here. We have some council members here. Mr. Roxbury is here. Um, who else is around here? Oh, yes, Leslie uh, um, uh, Smith is here. She's the council elect coming in. It's good to, see, good to have you with us as well. We have uh, quite a few members of the community. We appreciate you guys coming out and braving the cold. Um, the beautiful sunshine does help, though. Um, so, Mr. Stockdale, if you wouldn't mind coming forward and saying a few words. Well, once again, uh, congratulations on a uh, reopening and... Uh, and um, getting started once again. We really appreciate you being here. Uh, we're committed to uh, helping you fill your rooms. So I know that uh, full rooms means full restaurants and uh, lots of people here doing activities and, and celebrating our town together. So uh, we, we really, uh, these services truly are the foundation of what allow us to do tourism events. And without it, we just can't do it. So thank you for investing in our community and being here in our town. Um, You'll find uh, really some of the greatest people uh, ever here, and we're going to do all that we can to help you. Uh, so we look forward to, to the partnership. We look forward to being in the community. And once again, thanks for being here. I guess we'll do the uh, ceremonial ribbon cutting. <laughs> yes. Yes. If you, somebody, you want to say?
Thank you everyone for joining us in this uh, grand opening. We are very humbled to have you here to bless this property and bless the people. We love this town all over. We love America. When I came to this country, I could not speak one line of English. But America has given me everything I could imagine. I've got the success working with people, not just in this town. I started from Auburn, Washington, Jack Ma, Tri City, Idaho, and uh, Oregon, other part of Oregon, uh, Northeast Oregon, uh, on the coast. Uh, America has given me a lot. I cannot stress it more. And this is the land of opportunity. Sometimes the kids or the young kids, even my, my family, they think we got nothing. But they have to work hard. You have to work hard. The principle of my religion is Sikhism. There are three principles. Work hard and uh, pray to the God and then share your uh, good earning the needy destitute. Uh, that's where I get my power. And uh, I like to just at the end thank each, thank each and everyone, or the city mayor, uh, the city manager, and uh, all the other dignitaries that are here. And we thank you very much. And uh, we will take your blessing as a good blessing from the God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amen. Thank you again, everybody, for coming out. We sure appreciate it. Um, as, as guests, they have invited us in. They do have some uh, beverages. They have some uh, food for us. So if you want to come in and break bread with them, I'm sure they would, they would appreciate that. Also, there's open house. You can go in and see the rooms that have been remodeled. They're fantastic, by the way. Um, matter of fact, if, if Paulette, if I get in trouble, I know where I can go. So, no, I, have, I know where I can go. No, no, no you get the couch. <laughs> I gave you a comfy bed. Thank you again, everyone. Yeah, oh, car, perfect. I got a room. Uh -huh. Thank you, everyone. Have a, have a very uh, lovely day and a great weekend and Merry Christmas if we see you. Thank you. Awesome.